Most of the time when these people be talking, I don't even hear them. I don't. They talk and they talk. Hey, what's going on, people? It's Junior. Um, just making another video real quick to show you guys how you can predict your next load. This works for anybody, or it could work for anybody that does a lot of pickups and, um, you know, not a uh, routine, not a dedicated, not regional. Um, you know, mostly over the road. It could work for regional. I mean, anybody, actually. So, it's... How to predict your next load. I was talking to a buddy of mine, Will Dahala, to be exact, and you know, there's some there's a something I do on a day to day basis, on a load to load basis, and I was thinking about that. I was like, Well, I'm gonna share it with everybody so you guys can do it. And this goes to anybody that is getting into the business. I mean, you know, coming out here to learn the driving the trucking business you start doing it early it'll be good later I started doing this probably a good year ago and it was brought up on my up onto me because of uh, a buddy of mine Jeffrey Epperson he used to be uh, he used to work for Prime he's the one that got me into doing this he told me what to do and stuff, and I actually, I was like, that's pretty cool, you know, because whenever you go to a location, get unloaded or loaded, mostly unloaded, how about that, because you're going to predict the next load, you're going to know where to pick up, what's around you and stuff, you know, so if you deliver in, um, I'm just going to pick a city, uh, Indianapolis you know after you deliver that load you can always tell dispatch hey look man um, there's this around here I could pick up out of you know are we am I gonna pick up out of there you know dispatches could tell you okay deadhead over here and pick this load up all right then you can come back and say well why is there any loads out of this place or this other place around me you know so basically what I'm telling you is you start saving every location you go to and whenever you get unloaded next time you'll see what's around you you'll see okay I can pick up from the cold storage I can pick up from you know uh, General Mills you know whatever it may be you're gonna always have that option to you know if dispatch tries to deadhead you somewhere you know ask you know what about these places you know but if there's nothing around there then that's a different story but you know another example is we was in um, Mount Sterling Illinois middle of nowhere you know and um, we delivered at the dot foods DOT foods and I told dispatch I said um, there was a car gill around the corner and I said hey uh, are we gonna be able to pick up from this place you know for an overnight run before uh, the window for the cutoff for the payroll and um, I guess they were surprised that I knew there was a car gill there well the way, the reason I know is because I save every spot I deliver and pick up and it's something that everybody can start possibly doing that'll help you maybe benefit you whenever you get out there and start running all right now I'll show you guys here what I'm talking about all right guys this is what I'm gonna do this is what I do and this is you know where you guys are gonna be able to do it yourselves as you can see I'm at the Flying J in 75 exit 201 which is Jackson Georgia and I'll show you right now what my Google Maps looks like as far as you know the shippers and receivers as you can see every little star that you see there it's um, a shipper and receiver it doesn't seem much like much right now because I do a lot of uh, the same ones you know but that's what I'm telling you guys that you guys could possibly do 
that could help you predict your next load all right and um i'm gonna give you an example on how you do it i'm gonna show you how you do it so let's go let's look at speed code let's say you were to deliver it here for you know um just to talk about it so after you click on the the place you're delivering to click on it and then you click on save and it's going to turn yellow and once you hit the back button it would become a yellow star or a favorite so you go under the google maps and you uh save every place as a favorite and basically that's what you um that's what you see over here is all these little stars you know so you know and once you see those stars and you click on it you know then you know it if it's a shipper or receiver you know so I'm gonna unsave that one because I don't need to save that speed code but that's what you will do guys and again you know I did say Indianapolis let's look at Indianapolis so let's say you were over here you start looking around start zooming out okay you see there's something in um, Lebanon and Crawfordsville let's look at Lebanon it's a cold storage that could possibly be a pickup or a delivery paste area of Indiana um, that is also a pickup for a fact that is a pickup the cold storage could be a pickup or a delivery so you know once you see it it'll give you a uh, memory refresher and then it also will refresh your memory as far as did you park overnight there you know like you see right now that we see that there's a flying J around the corner from there so you know it's also a good tool for trip planning as far as to see what's gonna be there and whatnot or you know for whenever you're gonna pick up and whatnot what's around there and you know as far as truck stops and what I mean there's other means but the main thing for the, the main purpose that I use this for is to save my shippers and receivers so if I'm in the I'm over here at the Flying J as you can see where the blue dot is and um, you know dispatch wants to send me to Valdosta Valdosta I think I said that right Valdosta Georgia my first thing is going to be, um, can't I pick up over here in Noonan, Noonan, Georgia? You know, there's a Cargill. You know, can I pick up over here? Oh, this is a delivery. That would be a delivery. Uh, Monroe, oh, that's a delivery as well. You know, and, you know, you know, what I'm saying is you can always say, why can't I pick up there? You know, is there anything coming out of there and whatnot? But, but yeah, you know, so... You start saving these places as you are doing, you know, your journey coming into trucking and you do this early. It could possibly help you in the long run, you know. I've been doing it ever since my buddy told me about it, so. So, yeah. Um, all right, guys. I just wanted to show you what it was, you know, and how to do it. So, hopefully it helps you guys and, and whatnot. All right, guys, I just showed you how to save it on favorites on the Google Maps. Again, Google Maps or any maps, you know, in iOS. You know, I'm not an iOS or Apple fan, so that's besides the point. So any map that you have, save it as favorites, your pickups and deliveries. And that's how you predict your next load, wherever you are, possibly. <laughs> All right, guys, I hope it helps. If you have any questions, comments, you know, like, subscribe, share, let me know. Um, I'll try to get back to you, you know, as soon as I can, you know, so, and I'll post my email and then you guys can send me the emails. So, all right, guys, I hope it helps. Thank you.